Hey everyone, Zell here, and today we're back in Destiny we'll be looking at a legendary sniper rifle called the Praetis Revenge. This sniper rifle can be found in normal or hard mode in the Vault of Glass, and let's get right into the weapon and see what it's like. First, we're going to start with the flavor text. Praetis Fall isn't over, because it hasn't happened yet, and it will happen again, hinting towards whoever Praetis is. They are time traveler, most likely of a Vex origin, and that's about as far as we know so far. Looking at the rate of fire, it's pretty good. Impact, somewhat low. Range and stability are both pretty outstanding. The reload's very nice. And looking at the first tier of upgrades, we have the Taxus SLS 15 mid zoom scope, useful for our unpredictable situations. We have the Ambush SLH 25 agile snappy scope, handles beautifully, rewards a skilled hand. And the Longview SLR 10. A low zoom scope, improved range, and handling. On the next, we have Firefly. Precision kills with this weapon can cause the target to explode. Very nice. We have a damage upgrade. In second tier, we have Flared Magwell. Reload this weapon even faster. Quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably be fast. And Field Scout. Maximum ammo capacity is increased. Finally, we have Feeding Frenzy. Kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time. And then after that, we have Damage Upgrade, but we also have Oracle Disruptor because this does come from the Vault Glass, so it does increase our damage upon Oracles. After that, it's just Damage Upgrades, nothing too special. Looking at what I've used here, the Ambush SLH-25 increases your stability quite a bit. You can get better range and... Um, if you wanted to, but I don't really think it's necessary for a sniper rifle. And on this tier, we have Field Scout because it normally has a magazine of four. This brings it up to six, which is always nice. Good to know. And let's get into how this weapon works and handles. So, taking a look at it, the Firefly effect can be seen there. It explodes and will hit nearby enemies. Now, see how quickly that reload is? It's a really quick reload. Let's hit that Minotaur over there. If we can, or actually let's, yeah, there we go. So the normal reload is like that. Pretty fast, but when you do get a kill, you can make it unbelievably fast, which is really crazy. The other thing to notice is if you need to take multiple shots at a time, this gun is very handy for that because you can go one, two, and three. There's almost no recoil at all from this gun. It is really good for free for uh, precision sniping because you can get a lot of damage out very, very quickly if I was a good shot today, but I'm not really becoming the best of shots. And you can do a lot of damage very, very quickly. The low impact is countered by that fact. So that's what I think of the Praetor's Revenge. It is very, very handy for quick firing. Hard to say it competes against, say, the Icebreaker, but say if you need to use the Galahorn or say a primary exotic for whatever reason, this does fall into good uses as a legendary. So I'd say definitely give it a shot leveled up just in case you need it because that firefly effect can be really helpful in really condensed uh, mob packs and other things of that sort. So that would be my rev that would be my review on the Praetis Revenge. If you did enjoy the video, please like because it supports in what I do. And oh, as always, please rate, comment, Subscribe for more daily Destiny videos, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.